Hi, this is Ed Duclo, Tech Content Coach, South Windsor School District. I have some exciting news. We uh, have joined the Google Classroom Gradebook Beta program, and what that means is it's something that Google is looking into and uh, trying it out with some schools and getting their feedback first, and then um, making some adjustments and then rolling it out to the country. So at this point, uh, we have a chance to come in and give some feedback, some use it. Um, here, here's what it's going to look like. First, if I'm in my Google Classroom now, you're, the first change you're going to see is down below this crooked arrow. You're going to be able to click on that, and it'll take you right to the grade book. Right now, I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to go into one of my classes, and you're going to notice up top that you now have four tabs. If I click on the grades, it takes me right to my grade book. Um, at this point, I can see each and every student all the way through. I typically don't grade anything. Um, I use a lot of Google Forms, so you'll, you'll see uh, things missing and stuff, but for the most part, um, I, uh, I don't use the grade book, haven't used the grade book to this point. All right, now, if you take a look at this and you say, okay, I want to set up the grade book, but I, before I even go into this, I want to make one qualifier right up front. Google Classroom Gradebook does not speak to um, PowerTeacher Pro. Okay, and our grades are still ending up in PowerTeacher Pro, so that's a decision that you're going to need to make how extensively you, you want to use this. If you go to the settings and you come down on the, uh, from the settings, you'll see a new section here. So in the gradebook, you can go ahead and set uh, by total points, or you can do percentage base category weighting. You can come over here and you can add grade cat uh, categories. And if you do make any changes here, you'll have this highlighted up here. You'll need to save those changes um, before you X out. I'm going to X out now. I really haven't made any changes and I discard anything that might be there. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is Google does want your feedback. Actually, this question mark has always been there down in the corner. L uh, lower left if you click on it and you can send feedback because we're part of the beta program they absolutely want that feedback so feel free to chime in um, that's about everything just a quick overview a quick glance at it I'll be very curious to see um, what you do and get your feedback let me know how I can help have yourself a great day